Industrial and corporate espionage are phrases used to describe spying conducted for commercial purposes instead of national security reasons. As well as spying on commercial organizations, governments can also be targets of commercial espionage. In the United States, there's, there's an alliance of the British, the Australians, New Zealanders and Canada to uh, collect in a net uh, phone calls from around the world. So if Americans want to spy on Americans, they simply ask the British to do the spying, and then the British hand the data back to the Americans. It's quite clear that a team came in for the Olympics, uh, conducted wiretapping of people that were on a very short and feeble list of potential troublemakers for the Olympics. When this team, whoever it was, arrived, instead of listening to real terrorists, they listened to whomever they could come up with. Potential arm deals would be an interesting topic for a number of eavesdroppers. Greece buys hardware equipment from the United States. With the recent purchase of the American F-16 jet fighters, the Greek government was accused of buying less capable planes at higher prices. According to the investigation, one of the destinations that the bug phones were in contact with was an American spy agency. The bugging equipment was extremely sophisticated. It was transmitted in real time from um, those phones to uh, spots near the U.S. Embassy in, in Athens and then sent to other places around the world, most notably near Laurel, Maryland, where the Special Collection Service is, which is the United States' prime wing for uh, intercepting communications. We are becoming more and more watched throughout the world, day by day. Information is demanded by governments, by law enforcement agencies. There are hundreds and thousands of, of companies working on developing more and more sophisticated surveillance equipment. I do know that most telephone companies have a friendly relationship of some kind with law enforcement or intelligence. It's not usually talked about, but it exists. Um, the question is, is it a relationship that's supervised by judicial authorities? And the answer is sometimes. Life often can be a lot more complicated than the most extreme conspiracy movie. In a world where big corporations rule and employees obey, who would care for the mysterious death of an average citizen? There is always a reason why somebody dies. And the only possible and apparent reason in this case is the fact that he was employed by this company. If everybody feels sure it is a suicide, then they could put the body of Costas out of the grave, give it to, to a pathologist, to, the, to an independent pathologist, what the family of Costas has asked for, and uh, make an, a second independent autopsy. I, think, I find it very strange. Costas was a very dedicated 38-year-old engineer who discovered this and then was murdered. I would like to say to all the possible corporate uh, employees not to underestimate the circumstances they are working in and to have in mind that possibly they know something that they, it might kill them. There is more power in a mobile phone today than there used to be in a building full of computers. Um, and they are capable of doing most things. They are capable of being used as bugs. Every citizen must be protected from becoming a victim of similar cases, which usually start with the pretext of security. There is a huge tapping system going on, and we pretend that nothing really happened. It's as if we're living in parallel worlds in which things are discovered in Europe and never reported in this country. So most Americans have no idea about anything we're discussing. One day we wake up and we have to deal with a corporate secret and uh, 
a political scandal. And it's, I don't know, it's really simple. I mean, it really, it's enough to kill you.